this program i am going to take one of the concept of wd gan so as all of you know we have scheduled a long program so near to 24 hours program is being scheduled in wd gan's concept so there too also we are going to learn many concepts where of 144 also we are going to learn so that same square of 144 I'm going to explain today. So one of the concept which is being scheduled in this program, the same concept is being going to be discussed today. So many people they want to know how this program is going to be benefited to us or how we are going to be beneficial in this particular GAN learning. So for them to understand what is GAN, how far the GAN calculation comes true, what is the accuracy level GAN method give for price and time forecast specifically. So to make them understand all these things, so I have just going to give you one, one concept today in this one and a half hour program. So this program will be starting at 6 o'clock and it will continue till 7.30. In this particular event, you'll be learning GAN square of 144. This is one of the excellent method of WD GAN. Very simple method, very powerful method. And also I'll explain how you can utilize the smart finance GAN software for trade forecast to derive investment and trade decisions. And also one of our very simple intraday trade method that also midpoint method that also will be discussed in this program. So entire duration one and a half hour you have to spend for that. So the associated Excel, PPT, everything I have given it in the handout section. Please download those uh, documents if you need it for your reference. So this particular program I am going to discuss GAN square of 144 or 144. I'll explain how to use GAN software developed by Smart Finance. You'll also learn one of the simplest intraday trend forecast method, price forecast method. And these are the great things you should learn from the GAN's domain. And WD GAN is famous for his time forecast, and you will experience it. So I have shared one of his original writing. This is a part of his original writing, coffee course. So from there, one part is there. So if you see, I will not go line by line. If you see in the last part of these things, how to use and other things when it is being, uh, uh, he has given that uh, uh, decorum. So there he has clearly mentioned clearly mentioned that how to use the master square of 144 he said that follow all rules and angles as given in the master forecasting course so he's pointing to a different course so and many things if you just read through this writing you will come to know that many things are mastic many things are confusing many things are not elaborate enough for this current generation so so it is literally written or drafted things you can say, but all information pertaining to this particular method is available in this four page document. So he has given all informations. However, he also made it very clear that, made it very clear that only the useful people, those who can able to understand this method, let them use. So that is his convictions are very clear. So all these things in a very simplified manner we are going to experience today. And we are going to learn these concepts in detail. And it is a one and a half hour session. So we have also designed a prolonged WD GAN course, which is starting from 21st June. And it is going to continue till 14th July. Every day evening, one and a half hour. So this is a program many of you have joined. And this program is a complete GAN course, complete GAN course. And out of that, only one part, the square of 144, this part only is being taken 
today for discussion so you should know what is that what is the gan course so why gan was famous or why the wd gans analysis is so famous that now also people pay millions so few lakhs they pay to learn one one concept why so the reason is it is very very concrete in its calculations and it forecast the pricing and timings very very perfect way or you can say that the level of accuracy accuracy or the accuracy of predictions are very high so out of this the timing analysis timing the market when the trend change is going to happen which day we can expect one trend change to happen so these are the things is very important in the gan study so here gan square of 144 is one of the most difficult concept those who have studied gan you will find it out that it is very very complex object so how it is being evolved as wd gan says that everything in this universe are interrelated all your planets all your beings in this planet all the physical bodies in this planet all are interrelated so nobody is separate from each other your entire body is also made of five substances of this particular earth which we used to which we used to say panchabhutam in india so what is your earth water so sky all these things you will know so every object in this universe is impacting your decision process so you are not thinking because you want to think you are being you are thinking yes you are thinking also is being governed by something so that is what gan has told so your judgment process is purely dependent on some different objects that is what he differs so it is quite literally if you look into very literally or some things you can say that they are not that much accurate in their thoughts many non believers or i can say they are not non believers ignorant people so they don't believe on that however everything is having a very mathematical definitions so here gan square of 144 is being derived from jupiter cycle so when gan talk about the gan astro so many of you have heard about the gan astro so there many used to think that he is a mystic astrologer who close his eyes and predict something it is not like that many of his findings based on the mathematical relationship with the planets so when we say about the square of 144 it is known as the gans astro course from there this has evolved and this is known as your jupiter cycle so when we say that jupiter cycle so that time so here square of 144 is known as your jupiter cycle as per the gan astro concept so when we talk about jupiter what is the property of a jupiter you know that jupiter is one of the planet in our solar system so it is the fifth planet fifth planet in the earth so from uh, we are the third planet so so fifth planet is the jupiter so this is the first information we get as per the earth time because every planet move in its own speed and own rotation speed and it takes a one one uh, time to cover one rotation around the sun but it is clear that all planets in the solar systems revolves around the sun so you cannot say that no one planet is static it is not moving anywhere so all are moving like seasonal patterns we are seeing in the earth same seasonal patterns similar seasonal patterns are experienced in different frequencies in other planets maybe air is not there water is not there civilizations cannot sustain that is a different issue but all planets revolves around the sun as a center 
so jupiter moves around the sun as per the earth year it takes 11.86 earth year or it is taking almost it is a because it is a fifth planet it takes more time to revolve its orbit is more so like we are completing one rotation around the sun in 365 days so this as per our decorum our standard 24 hour days are 24 hour for one day so 4331 days it takes almost 11.86 so 12 years it completes one rotation around the sun that is first second like here we have 12 hours as a daytime 12 hours is night time so complete 24 hour jupiter completes 10 hours entire day night covers in the 10 hours so its speed is more so it revolves around himself or itself it has more speed and orbit is bigger so it takes a longer time to revolve around the sun so these two informations has given birth to this 100 and square of 144 so square of 144 12 square is 144 10 hours so these two inputs if you get you can you can revolve or you can completely make the square of 144 happen so two informations 12 years square of 12 is 144 so why he has taken the square of 12 like the nine planets we have taken square of 9 12 jupiter cycle he wants to derive so 12 years 12 square is 144 each day is of 10 hours now we are going to peep into the jupiter cycle so two informations you have so the first information jupiter takes 12 years to complete one revolution around the sun and jupiter's day length is 10 hours so we required 10 numbers 10 numbers very carefully listen we required 10 numbers between 1 to 1 to 144 that is clear now we require 10 numbers how to derive these 10 numbers because these 10 numbers are going to help us to predict the trend reversal time and trend reversal price so or the price and time forecast we are going to do using this so first what we have to do we have taken 144 so half of this 72 72 so half of the 72 is 36 so this 36 36 72 and 144 these three numbers we got so now we require seven more numbers so for seven first i have taken the half of 70 half of 144 then again i have taken the half of 30 uh, 72 so three numbers i have taken so why three why not four five why can't i go on dividing 144 with five six seven eight like that the reason is every cycle is having a three segments three so there is a rise there is a fall again there is a rise one size sinusoidal movement completes in three cycles so that is why in capital market we consider three as a cycle there is a rising there is a fall again there is a rising so this is the completion of one complete cycle so for that reason we are just dividing it by two getting 72 again dividing it by 72 by 2 36 so three numbers we derived we require seven more so for that again what we have to do we have to take the mid of these values 36 plus 72 divided by 2 so this we are doing to derive the fourth number in our series so this is 10 numbers we require which is 54 again we are going to derive the second fifth number in our series which is 72 see the sequence is very important yes if you don't see this sequence to understand this square of 144 is quite difficult 108 so we got three to five numbers now 
so we required five more numbers so first what we did 44 144 72 36 this sequence we have gone now we have taken the midpoint of this so now we will be taking the midpoint of this two so what we have to do we have to take 54 plus 72 divided by 2 so this is also we got another midpoint so this process we are going to continue to get all 10 numbers all 10 different numbers in our gans 144 level so this is the second number uh, we got the sixth number the seventh number again 54 added with 36 divided by 2 so everywhere the midpoint is being utilized why it is utilized that also i will tell you so you got this number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 you got 2 4 6 and 7 numbers so here so top part is over now we got one more part here so 108 added with 72 divided by 2 so why we are deriving 10 numbers because jupiter has a 10 hours of daytime so that is the reason why we are doing this so by this process our nine number innovations are over so here one two three four five six seven eight nine nine numbers are over tenth number we required so for the tenth number how we have started first we have started with first we have started with 144 72 36 again we are coming from the top down so taken a half of this taken a half of this then we have taken the half of this again we have taken the half of this so this one cycle is completed so now second cycle we have to take second cycle means so this two half also we have to take so second cycle this will complete our 10 numbers 54 if you want further to complete also some some researchers also put a complete this thing or they have taken uh, 12 cycles also so this is the process in which we have revised the 10 numbers so here i have just given you the 10 numbers here first here 72 36 36 and 72 that mid we have taken and then 54 74 63 so here just uh, one uh, error what i did here instead of this i have to take from here so 72 72 plus 63 divided by 2 so 10 numbers are over in fact gan has taken only 9 so 10 numbers we have taken so 67.5 also you can take so here uh, in fact i'm missing something here so as per the gans move so here this is the half this is half uh, and I think this is the 72 and 90. There is one of the half. Jupiter day length is 10 hours, so we require 10 numbers. So we are just using the midpoint method to calculate all 10 numbers and just put it in this sequence. So now, so now what we have to do this after completing this complete calculation of these numbers. So we require 10 numbers, we calculate it. So after calculating these 10 numbers, we have to just take with, with the divide that number with 144 to get the ratios. So these ratios will be utilized like your Fibonacci retracement ratios for price predictions. So here price and time will be linked together. So these 36, 45, 54, 63, 72 till 144, these are the numbers will be utilized for the timing the market or to identify the trend change dates and these ratios which will be derived by dividing that number with 144 will be getting these ratios which will help us to do the price forecast price forecast these two things we have to do 
so now so coming to these two calculations are over now go back to the timing analysis first we will go back to the timing analysis so these are the numbers we got 36 45 54 63 72 81 so you understood how these numbers are being devised or calculated now i have taken from the first june the first january 2021 to till date 11th june 2021 I want to see whether the trend reversals are happening in this sequence or not. First, 36 trading days. You can take 36 calendar days also. That also we can see different variations. We can see that. So first, for the simplest variation, we can go 36 trading days. So 36 trading days, 22nd February. There is a huge change here. Though there is a fall happens just one day before or two days before, but that was the third day of your fall, which was quite vigorous. You can say almost 200 point fall, 22nd February. Again, for 45, our next number is 45. So, next number is 45. This comes to a day on 5th March. That too, also, though before that day, also there is a fall. You can say that just exactly two to three days before that event, you are having a trend. Change. So, fall happens, next day there is a big change. So, before proceeding to that, there is a fall. So, two to three days before itself, the trend is continuing and that will be the final day of your trend change. Trend change is happening next to that. So, 22nd February, whatever happened, happened. 23rd is a off day. It is against the 22nd price action. So, same kind of things you are seeing it here. So you are getting 22nd February and then 45. So 45 is coming here. So you can see that there is an off day, fall, again fall, then it has rise up. So then 48, I will explain afterwards. 54, the similar kind of things you are seeing here. There was a fall, 900, 700, 500, and there is an off take is happening. Off take is happening. So, so this particular dates are very very prominent days you can see from 9, 19th march then 5th april there was a 200 point fall here so 5th april and again 19th april so then 3rd may so then again comes to 17th may and then 10th june 10th june also is coming so more important factor is here you have seen the price just focus your attention towards the volume. So this part is the volume. How many nifty futures? This is the nifty spot data. However, it replicates how many future contracts are being traded here. So if you just look into here, this is the day which is having, you can say, six, some amount of volume which is less, much less or much higher than that. So here you are getting some 60, which was very less as compared to its previous two days volume. So you can say previous three days average also, you can say previous three days average volume. So you are much lesser to that. So here too also you can see that this volume is much higher to that previous three days volume. So here you are seeing that much, much higher volume you are getting. So here too also you are getting a yeah, almost equal or higher volume. So in volume front on that particular days either you are getting the three days average volume or that day's volume is more than the previous three days average volume or less than the previous three days average volume but the extent of variations is very huge 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 variations so this particular day and one point of time you will be seeing that here is one biggest volume is being created so you may say that here is 64, here is a biggest volume, whether it resembles with anything. So just have a count in terms of your calendar days. So calendar day, 36 days, I have taken the trading days. If you take the 36 calendar days or 36 calendar days or you can take 45 calendar days or 40, 54 calendar days, what will happen? So this is the day falling on 26th February, you can say first to 31st January, 31 days, and here 26 if I can add, so it is 7 and 
3 to our 5. So here 57. So you can say that this is the 57th day. 57th day. So close resemblance to your 54th day. So this is 2 to 3 days of variations will be there. So what you are, what I wish to tell here. So the day falling in the sequence 35, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81. So just two to three days before that event or two to three days after that event, you are expecting a trend change. Three, two to three days before that event, the trend change happening on that particular day, trend saturates and completes that cycle and you are entering to a different cycle. So how you can project that things now all these things are over so one cycle of 144 has to complete so next is coming on the 2nd july very next is coming on the 28th july as per the as per the trading days estimations so 2nd july so two to three trading days before we will get that actions of trend change so you can say july is coming on the 2nd july which is Friday. So I can say from June 29th or 28th, 28th June onwards, one new trend will emerge. It may be a downtrend, which will continue from 28th July, 28th, 29th, and saturate on 2nd July. So 28th June, not July. One trend will emerge from 28th, preferably from 28th or 29th of June. And that trend is going to saturate on 2nd July. If there is a fall starting on 28th June, that will continue till 2nd July and it will saturate. If there is a good rise is happening from 28th or 29th of June, it will continue till 2nd July and saturate. So this is called your timing projections of WD GANS 144 principle square of 144 principle so this is the numbers we have derived this is the numbers we have derived based on the jupiter cycle so now coming to that pricing estimate so look have a look at these ratios if we are dividing that things with the 144 we are getting 0.382 is a fibonic ratio very close 0.5 is not a fibonic ratio however we can say 0 0.5 0 0.6182 very close near to 0 0.888, 0 0.786. So these are the very close ratios, very, very close resembles with our Fibonacci ratios, very close resemblance. So very in the first decimal, after first decimal, there is a deviation. So it is very close resemblance with our Fibonacci ratios. So, so Fibonacci is from the static numbers and these are being derived from a different number sequence that is the difference so how this pricing forecast will happen say now what we have done here we have taken the price cycles and we have last year last year so you can say at the year of 2020 it has made a high made a low all of you know that 7500 and odd it has gone december 31st it has a uptake so 6514 point movement happened 6514 point movement happened in the nifty and that to also 14024 point odd 14024 point something or 24 it has settled at the december 31st so this is the levels you can say so based on that value if i calculate so based on that value if i calculate the values for the because last year it has happened last year year 2020 so these are the values i am getting in this 36 cycle 36 cycle is completed now i am entering to the 40 50 cycle 16059 will be my level for this thing and if i can go back if i can go back to the same level of level of mine 14,000. It is a long term trend. Yearly price trends I am taking. Yearly price trend I am taking. 6,514 point movement happened in the year 2020 and from based on this if I am taking so this is the 
first cycle's first point have just crossed 15,652 crossed. Then my next objective would be 16,059. So mostly, most likely the reversals will come at long term cycle. This is long term cycle. So long term cycle, yearly cycle, you can get reversals 0 0.618 to 0 0.786. So here 92.1811. So here is the long term reversal zone set. So this is long term cycle. So those who are the traders, it may not be may not be that important for them now. So now now coming to the short term cycle. So short term cycle. So this is the long term cycle we have derived short term cycle. So it is completing different different cycles. So there is a 19th March again 5th April 19th April. So now it has completed one cycle which has started from 17th may and it has ended in the 17th may and it has ended in the 10th june so 10th june so it is completing 10th june 92 180 so 90th trading days to 108 trading days so this is the 19th 90th trading day and this is the 108th trading day so between these it has completed so what I'm going to do here, I want the short term trading cycle. So between this, what is the high? What is the low it has formed? How much price oscillation happened? 1075 points of price oscillation happened. 1075 point price oscillation happened. So I'm going to use the same 1075 here. 1075 points of oscillation happened. So this is and uptrends I have to deride from the low. So what was the low during this period? So 14,725, 14,725, 725. This was the low, and this I am just calculating. So these are the one upside cycle has ended, and I need the downtrend cycle, which will be taken from the high 15,800 during this period. I have 15,800. So during 10th May to the uh, sorry, uh, 90th trading day or 17th May to 10th June, this is the high and low happened. This is the price range it has given. So using the square of 144 principle, so we have completed this part. So now, if you ask me where we are aiming for from now. So now, if one cycle 15,800, we have completed, you have seen that 15,800 acts as a toughest resistance. You have entered on the Friday above 15,800, struggled to maintain there, retraced from there, closed very near to that. So if it successfully crosses this one, I can rather say, if it crosses 1668, very carefully listen to this. This will give you a very great, great, great view on the market. 16,068 Nifty, you can expect the reversal zones, as I said to you. So here it comes to same level of your 0 0.68 to 0 0.75, which is close near to the Fibonic level. So you can get for 16,471 to 16,606. So this is the level and your downtrend will resume if it breaks below 15,531. And these highs when it should be expected or this downtrend breakout when it should be ex expected before or on 2nd July, 2nd July, july and if this completes com the things then it will go for go for the go for the higher level 28th july so you must ask me 2nd july and 28th july how you can give this thing it is not from my point of view it is the wd gans original literature what i have said all with all of you so you can read from there so what it is saying when to start a new square. 
so when to start a new square in this section he has given when the time period of the daily weekly monthly chart has moved 144 you begin a new square so this is what he is telling here so means one new cycle should start once the complete cycle is over so here for us on pricing terms we have just crossed or just completed our one complete cycle which is 15800 15800 estimated from its previous previous time cycle high and low and estimated from the previous time cycles low so now we will be moving to the second cycle of the uptrend which will be starting from 15800 either you can plot it in chart or you can put it in your you can plot it in your chart or you can put it mathematically in this so this excel sheet also i have shared up shared with all of you you so this also i have shared with you you can put the data and you can also cross verify so what is happening on that on that day i have told you see 10th june what is the volume volume is much much less than its previous three days or five days average volume so volume time time you are getting some contractions there and trend is saturating on that day on that particular day your trend is saturating whatever the downtrend or uptrend or the consolidation whatever is happening on that particular day that was the final day of your trend change so that is what you are getting in square of 144 so square of 144 of one more set of very important factors he said that strongest point for time and price resistance one fourth one third two third three eighth and these are the complete of 144 so you must ask me from this from where he has got this one fourth one third two third three eighth one fourth so these are the so if you just count that is number nine numbers are there so for that reason only i have also presented here so here also i have presented the one fourth, one third, two third, three eight, half, five by eight, one. So if you just take these ratios, that will almost match with these numbers with a small deviations. So if you just divide 144 with this thing, one four, one fourth, you will get 36. Same number we are having, 72 also we are having, 144 we are having, 108 we are having, 126 we are having, 90, 72, everything we are 54, we are having some exceptions are there 96 48 some exceptions are there maybe these two numbers are being taken with reference to your fibonacci ratios 0.382 and 0.618 so with respect to that he maybe he has moved it and second part is also if gan angle so gan angle if you can take 144 divided by 16 gan angle many of you will be knowing say 11 trend line method so 11 trend line method 9 18 36 48 72 144 here too also 48 presents so maybe this 48 being referred from the gan angle principle so this is not only this two missing numbers it's very hard to correlate from where it has come in the square of 144 so in fact if i just take those days as per the GANs, this ratio, if I can count, so here too also I have just marked it. I have marked it this 48 and also I have marked one 96. So you can say that these are the days, no events I am seeing, but it has a greater implications if I take in terms of calendar days. So one more, one more very good questions, uh, one more very good things you can see here. So if I just look into the January data, so this I have taken yearly yearly price, just counted the number of days. That is what I did. 36, 45, all these things. I have just counted those things. So this is a square of 144 from where it has been innovated. So it is from the GANS Astro course. I found the reference to the uh, Jupiter cycle. From there it has innovated and it is 10 days. So these are the uh, uh, 10 hours, so 10 numbers plays into that. So we'll just examine the same thing in terms of our 
calendar days and monthly cycle so you can see in the january 2021 21st january there was a high of the nifty and 29th january there is a low of the nifty so if i just go on counting go on counting this 21st january to 36 days so 36 days you can see in the excel sheet it is very clear to see that 36 trading days if i am just going on counting so this is 35 36 trading days so it falls on it falls on the 15th march and you can say that there is no resemblance i am getting here no pass through is happening so 5th march there is it is visible that there is a 100 150 points of movement but if i take the calendar days so this i have taken with respect to the trading days so 21st january to 31st january 10 trading day, 10 calendar days 10 plus 1 11 calendar days it is happening on 21st if i negate this one day 21st if i do not consider zeroth day then 10 days if i consider 21st is the day then it is 11 days so 21st to 31st january 11 trading days and out of 36 if you take out 11 or 10 if you take out if i take out 10 taking the zeroth days so i'll be getting the 26 days left out so roughly on 26th of february i should get a great 10th trend since date so this is the 26th of february the highest volume created day i have shown you on this so if i just look into this part 26th is the highest volume causing day so calendar days also it is matching calendar days is also matching so it comes to 26th days same process if i can continue continue for 36 happened now 45 45 days starting from 21st january 21st january so if i can just add it here 21st january added with 45 days so 7th march 2021 7th march 2021 so 7th is not a working day so 5th march or 8th march 5th march or 8th march you can say that there was a good fall happened so two to three days before itself it is impacting so you can say that there is a good fall happened so 7th march also falling in one of the day so calendar days you can take or trading days you can take you can pinpoint where the trend change is going to happen only one deviation with the other methods of time forecast is whatever the trend change dates you are going to calculate as for 144 method very carefully listen to this 144 method the day will be the last day of your trend change so so the trend change will take place two to three days before it will saturate on that day so for that reason only i have given 22nd july you have a trend change day as for the trend saturation day in fact so 2nd july means the impact should come from 28th or 29th of june and it will saturate on the 2nd june 2nd july so if there is a fall continue till 2nd february 2nd of july so how to trade on that so if 2nd july is the trend trend saturation day 28th july is the trend saturation day so i'll be waiting for this day so this is say there is a fall happening two to three days before so the fall is going to end on 2nd july so i have to take a contra trade on 2nd july if there is a rise is happening continuously two to three days before so i need to so this rise is going to end on 2nd july so i have to sell nifty on 2nd july and continue for this it is monthly trend forecast and all so this is how you should utilize this method forecast how you can do it so during the last two cycles so there is different days are there so you can say 10th june and 11th may so this is the cycle this is the latest cycle concurrent cycle this too also it is mentioned in his own literature during this concurrent cycle what are the high and low what is the price difference and that price difference you have to take and 
you have to derive all resistances from the low all supports from the high so and keep a tab on keep a tab on the 90th or 108 as your price saturation points and if the first cycle over then you can go for the second cycle so three cycles can happen so as per these things if 15800 crossover happens then you can see second cycle before second july 2021 we can expect the nifty to be 16471 to 16606 and in between these are the hurdles it may come and the failure of the trend will be counted if the nifty fall below 15530 going to our smart finance softwares many of you are the user of the softwares so you can see that we have given these tabs square of 9 square of 12 gan angle and volatility midpoint and manually also you can enter the values and calculate square of 9 square of 12 and other things so more important factor is here your time analysis suppose if you are just clicking on the tata steel trend reversal dates so you just have to load the data and five different here low angle high angle static angle gan angle high low squaring so any so you require the trend reversal date so here we are also given which are the minor trend change dates minor trend change means small price corrections or consolidation can happen so when minor trend change dates are being given here minor trend change dates that reflects you be a option seller on that day that day consolidation is going to kill the time value so this is what the minor trend change date gan angle also minor trend change it is the major trend change date actual substantial gain or loss will come we have also given a trend reversal scanner if i just scan all of you will be having a mobile just to take a photo of this so these are the stocks are going to give the trend change tomorrow monday so you check how many counters are giving you so take a photo of this thing low angle take a photo from the high angle nifty also having a trend change day on the monday 14th june high loss squaring this method also so here we say that 65 to 70 percent accuracy it maintains means if 10 trend change dates are forecasted for a particular counter out of that six will work four will not work so that is okay with many of the technical indicators so here also we have taken that which level it is closing suppose if you have found out indian oil has closed above 117 on friday on friday so monday it has a trend change date on friday so what we have gone given here uptrend level one then 40 to 60 percent accuracy it will keep means the accuracy of giving you the downtrend is only 45 to 60 percent however if it has closed above 121 indian oil on friday then on monday you can see there is a 65 percent of chances that it will open negative or close negative so this is the level you can get so this also those who are the user of this software can have a look on this same process if indian oil has closed below 113 then to open up positive and give a positive closing is having only 40 to 60 percent accuracy however if it has closed below 109.94 or 110 it has 65 percent accuracy more accuracy on that so same process if i can just go to the this is nifty we have 14 so here so where is the nifty closed so if it is having a 15,814 above the spot levels these are the spot levels 14 15,814 above 65% of accuracy so here 772 above if that's closed then you have 45 to 60% accuracy so this also minor trend change the stocks you can you can 
uh, feed the data and make it so uh, we have that process in that uh, android app of this edition of this particular software where you can give the feeding of which day the high form previous month which day low form and what are the price highest and lowest price it will calculate and give but for indian stocks it is being programmed so here major trend change and minor trend change date is being translated in this order so if you just have a look on this all of you i will request take a photo of this at least biocon having tomorrow these are the stocks lists having a trend change date tomorrow and i have explained what level of closing how much accuracy you can get filter out so it is only six to seven stocks you can very well you can very well upl also you have tc tvs tcs Tata power so a lot of stocks you have in bajaj finance or of pharma so this having a great number of stocks you can take a photograph of this in your mobile device so you can check it tomorrow what's wrong in checking tomorrow whether they have but that closing on friday is very important if they have closed above this then there is a chance of 45 to 60 percent accuracy they will maintain but once it close above the level of one so level two then there is the accuracy level of or impact of your trend reversals impact of trend reversals will be more and that will be that will be more so you can able to just just based on these values so this you are getting beforehand yourself friday saturday yourself you can get and it also has the midpoint calculator so midpoint method you are going to learn that's here midpoint method so it gives you this calculations on hand so how that midpoint midpoint method you are going to learn so and it is excellent method for robot trading those who are doing that robot trading or automated trading system for them it is an excellent tool so you can say so midpoint method gives you a so this if you take axis bank above 743 it is put a 741.6 and these are the targets so this will continue changing in the real market once it comes to 755 you just load data calculate once you will get a new level so this is very very and you can program it also in your robot tool gan angle also we have given so if you can if i can Calculate in the GAN angle method. So these are the calculations comes GAN square of 9, 12, everything we have given it here. So more important is this trend reversal date calculations and working on that. So that is very important. And one thing I just wish to tell you here, GAN midpoint method. Very, very easy method. Very easy method. Anybody can able to do that. So fine. So here going to the midpoint method which is most easiest method so what you have seen in the square of 144 that is a midpoint calculation happening so gan is we are calculating 36 72 mid mid values we are taking so based on that we are calculating the midpoints and that is deciding our price and time trend so if you take and here also i have demonstrated if you take the latest cycle latest cycle which has started from 20 started from 17th may and ended here so if you can take the much before cycle so you can say this is the cycle has happened happened on the third may and 17th may so between this if i can take the max value so that we can test whether these calculations have minimum value so 81 and 90th day between them what is the high and the low happened if i take that so this is the values we got 14966 and 14466 price range we calculate so at least we can say 18th may onwards how far we have succeeded in this calculation 551 points nifty spot so 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 you can here 551 points so 551 points 551 points and what was the low and what was the high 
14,967, 14,416. So we, our resistance will be calculated from 14,416. 14,416. So I am going here adding 14,416 and this calculations are done. Now I will just calculate it. So this part is over. Now supports supports has to be calculated from 14,967. So 14,967. 14,967. So this is being taken and this is being calculated. What happened post that it is very important. Very important. Static angle 551 points. This is the first cycle. This is the second cycle. This is the first cycle of downtrend. So these values, these values, let me little make it bigger so that all can able to view that. If you want, you can take a photo in the mobile and compare in the last. So when I will go to the data section, so 18th May, 18th May, you can find it out here. So here, what is the breakout points? Breakout point it is giving me. 14,553 and all for 15,967, one cycle over. Second cycle is opening at 15,104. So from data, you can just see here, 15,067, it is opening on 18th May, closing on 15,108. So this confirms my off trend here, 108, 104 above, I can say my uptrend starts so here this will continue till 15518 so then second cycle ends third cycle starts so you can see that all the days this has happened 906 then it has again from here it is reversing so here to also one low has spawned 14884 884 so it is 14829 hour low it has not hit that trend change did not happen so it has marched maintain 15108 above and march till these things so here 25th 96th of day it has made 15293 and just marched above and 500 it has closed the above that 435 uptrend it is not surrendering so if i want to go for the third cycle so third cycle but how I have to calculate? So third cycle has to be calculated. So third cycle has to be calculated. This is the second cycle ending. This. So I need to just put a dollar because this is the reference we have to take and add into the price ranges. So price ranges doesn't require any dollar. So this is the third cycle. It is to it has to go so we are into the before 10th of so next cycle falls on the 10th of june so before 10th of june where we have ended here 15827 so this is the reversal zone 862 to this thing so you can just see how much 800 and odd you have gone just last friday last friday or you can see from here so here so this was the 10th june 10th june before 10th june just see here 15800 just you tossed from there and fallen back 740 750 773 so here 700 and odd act as a biggest register 733 778 800 this was acting as a good resistance point good resistance point so here you have been there for a long time 700 and plus level 720 740 and you have gone till 800 so this is the level third cycle you have entered and in third cycle itself you have so years this is only for positional studies so fine so this part we have gone now i will be taking to one of the intraday method which is midpoint method so what we have to do here high low and midpoint 
and in gans literature this high low midpoint this is not mindset in this gans literature just have a reading in the first two lines this document also is by w d gans and you can read this first two lines there are high low halfway point open and closing price this trend is indicated by closing price especially when market is active if the price close above the halfway mark near the high trend is up if it is below halfway mark below the low, low then it is trend is down so every place he has considered this price point so high low midpoint closing opening so this all my gans method you can find out everywhere gan angle or anything i take closing opening high and low static methods so all these calculations it's as per the gans original thought so now little bit of tweaking also is being done by me that is different in the induction of your volatility and other things is a different aspect however now coming to this midpoint method name is midpoint so everything should be derived from the midpoint everything should be derived from the midpoint fine so now coming to the midpoint method name is midpoint so you have to derive everything from the midpoint so you have to take the past one hour data one hours past one hour means 915 market opens you have to take 915 to 1015 high and low take the midpoint of high and low r 360 degree factor to get the price termination point that i will explain first target high plus midpoint divided by 2 second termination plus high by 2 third target second target plus termination divided by 2 only three targets you will get here not more than that so here the excel also i have given suppose this is the high and this is the low midpoint high plus low divided by 2 price range between the high and low divided by 2 so everything is midpoint so between high and low or midpoint to low that is a half of the price range 51 point now we have to calculate the termination price point so 360 degree factor we have to use in the gans method so what do you have to do we have to take this square root of the price range that is square root of 51 add with plus 2 360 degree is factor 2 why it is 2 that i will tell in some different time so then square so this will give you 84 points using this 84 points we have to calculate uptrend termination and downtrend termination point so this termination should be taken again from the midpoint midpoint added with 84 midpoint subtracted from 84 so this two terminations will be derived once you derive the terminations what it what we have to do first target first target is nothing but your high plus midpoint divided by 2 then second target high plus termination uptrend termination divided by 2 third target is your second target plus termination divided by 2 so everywhere midpoint is used here to downside target low plus midpoint divided by 2 then you can go to the second target which will be the low plus downtrend termination divided by 2 everywhere midpoint will be utilized and second target plus downtrend termination divided by 2 and this will be valid for only one hour once the second hour is over new data points new things you can use and this won't be valid for more number of hours this is purely intraday you can utilize with the 15 minute high and low also minimum 15 minute or one hour not more than one hour after two hours don't use the trailing two hours high and low trailing one hour or 15 minute the lowest time frame 915 market opens by 930 you can start using this method Ex excellent method if this is only involves the addition and division if you can program in your algo systems also it can automatically push the order and make the things for you so here the buying and selling happens above the 
midpoint so here just to make some clarity i brought the 0.236 fibonacci ratio into picture so here just gan has told midpoint above you buy so what price i should buy so for that reason only i have just added fibonacci 0.236 ratio so i am telling you to buy above 15711 keep 15699 as a stop and these are the targets those who are doing the frequency tradings or very quick entry and exit this method is excellent method for intraday it maintains 75 to 85 percent accuracy so currency trading it is fabulous those who are doing the currency trading it is excellent success they are experiencing in this so this particular so so this particular method is highly useful for your currency trading facilities and those who are having our software they don't have to do anything on that software itself just you can do, go for the stock future if you want in the midpoint method go for the stock future or index future you can go for index future you can go for and you can just load the nifty data and the one hd method i will not suggest them to use the midpoint method because one hd is entirely a different stuff to so here you have midpoint method we have gone so this is the levels coming as per the midpoint method so it is only for the high frequency trades high frequency trades those who want to make a quick entry and quick exit they can make use of that so or else you can do your own calculations and follow so these points are very important what is square of 14 144 square of 144 this is derived from the jupiter cycle 12 square is 144 from where the 12 has come it is from the jupiter's entire year and here 10 hours in a day so you have derived 10 numbers between 0 to 144 using the midpoint concepts numbers will be utilized for the time cycle predictions and once you take the ratios you derived so you can derive the price cycles and many are using this particular gan was square of 144 those who are using the mt4 and other softwares you will be having one box many will be utilizing this particular box so what you will be doing you will be taking a low or high between this low and high you can just drag it so one box will be formed so that box whatever the number of days so here number of days if it is 10 so then so from here so from here it will start counting 36 45 and all and same process way also prices it will give the grid format it will give so you can get get it in the grid format so whatever you are doing in the excel format same thing you will get it in the grid format so if you have that tool you can utilize or you can use in the excel and project that things asking say i have we have now entered to the third cycle so first cycle over second cycle entering to 15518 third cycle starting from 15665 and we are going till 16069 so what will be the down trend cycles so once we are starting from the second or third cycle your downtrend will not be calculated from 14967 rather you should calculate the downtrend cycles from 15581 so so this is the place from where you should calculate your calculate your calculate your downtrend cycle one so downtrend once one cycle is over original data will lose its relevance and this downtrend cycles will be calculated in this order so same third cycle is over so you have to use 16069 as the data points to derive the downtrend cycles however since 551's job is over now we cannot take the 551 because this points what are 551 points what i have taken 
it is valid till 10th june so no more we can take 551 points you have to take 1075 points so 1075 points should be taken here 1075 points should be taken here so that cycle whatever happened whatever left out it is over so now 1,675 points should be taken and this low and high should be utilized 14,726 and 15,800. So 14,726 will be utilized and 14,726, 725, 725, 14,725.25. So this will be utilized and all calculations will change and here too also we have to use the 14800 14800 because that cycle is a time cycle is over once one time cycle is over we cannot take that price point for our reference so so this will be our new cycles so in this post 10th june our values will accept these values not the values what we have derived from the earlier 90th days and all so we have to so the value what we have derived from the 90th trading days and the 81st trading days we will not accept that rather we will accept 90th trading days and 108 trading days in between whatever the things is there that value we will accept so from that value we have to calculate all our uptrend cycles downtrend cycles so we will follow that so now if you ask me we have touched 15800 plus what next so i will be waiting for 16068 if this happens then uptrend will continue so this since we are into the end part of my this thing so i will also change this values to 15800 15800 so these values will be now my support levels so currently my focus will be on 16,068 till 15,531 is valid i'll be 15,531 is valid i'll be bullish on this nifty spot level these are the spot levels and once it crosses 16,068 i'll be bullish in the uh, thing until 15,531 trend is not going to be downtrend it may consolidate in that range but it may not be a down softwares if you wish to get you just visit our website visit our website and here you will get the wd gan software price and time analysis software so if this cost you 3540 3000 plus tax 3540 per one year so so this works on mobile android device as well as in the desktop so this you can procure so that has the facilities what you have seen and timing analysis it is a perfect tool and it gives a excellent uh, this thing result and uh, documents already i said so any of you are driving a car but do not know where is the fuel tank you are a good driver maybe, but you do not know where is the fuel tank so what i can say so same logic i follow in all our endeavors from 2005 to 2020 21 we have only focused on only one thing any tool we have developed till date all of our buyer knew how this calculation happened so if tool is not there tomorrow if smart finance is not there tomorrow also you can do your calculation and you can do of your work so that is the logic behind it in fact some improvements we have added into that that is a trade secret different but core concept you must know 